Okay. My new apartment is somewhere on this floor. Let me see. 201, 2, 3, 4. Ah! Here it is. Apartment 205. Well, the door looks in pretty good condition. I guess that's a good sign that my new roommate isn't a total slob. Hello? I'm your new roommate, and I haven't been given a key yet. Can you open the door and let me in? Come on now. Finally. You know, normal people answer a door when someone knocks. Um... What are you staring at me like that for? Well, stop staring, and maybe offer to help me bring my bags in like a polite roommate would? Why, yes. I'd very much appreciate the help. Of course I'm being sarcastic. I'm not going to be nice to you for common decency. Especially after you only asked because I told you to. Finally, I get an actual sentence from you. It only took, what, a full five minutes after meeting? Yeah, just put them in my room and I can unpack myself later on. That's a good girl. <laughs> I saw that blush, cutie. <laughs> it got worse. That is freaking adorable. Well, if you like when I call you a good girl that much, I'm gonna make sure to use it to my advantage. Oh, you'll see, cutie. You'll see. Okay, that's everything important packed away. I can do the rest tomorrow. Hey, are you still here? Huh, that's strange. I didn't hear the door while I was unpacking. Oh, you're in here? So this is your room? Not as messy as I expected. <laughs> now don't get a big head, weirdo. It could still be cleaner. Oh, shush. It's not rude. It's just the truth. Now I came in to ask if you had any food I could make. Seriously? You've got nothing at all? Ugh. Why haven't you gone shopping? How could you possibly have no food in your fridge? You pretty much just eat takeaways? <laughs> okay. No. That's not going to happen anymore. Get up. We're going shopping. I don't care if you're tired. I refuse to be the only person that cooks in this apartment. I expect you to be ready and waiting by the door for me within the next five minutes. Or else. Good to see that you can at least follow instructions. Yes, I really am going to make you come shopping with me, and that's not all. Once we get back, I'm going to teach you how to cook. Because it isn't normal for you to be completely unable to cook. Can you at least make toast? <sighs> I guess I'll teach you how to do that as well. Add bread to the list. That took so much longer than it should have. 
Yes, it did. We only went for a few things so that I could teach you how to cook a simple meal, but because of all your questions and how slow you were walking... <sighs> oh, and don't you think for a second that I didn't know you were only walking so slow so you could stare at my ass. Of course I knew. You were not subtle at all. You're lucky we were in public or I'd have made you pay for being such a perv. Oh, I never said I didn't like the attention. And you'd have probably liked the punishment. But enough of this. It's getting late. And I still need to show you how to cook. On the plus side, the longer time spent at the store means I'm extra hungry now. So take these bags to the kitchen and start unpacking them. Because I said so. And if I'm going to teach you, you could at least unpack while I go rest for a minute. Will you stop being so stubborn? It's a few bags of groceries. I'm sure you'll manage to unpack them all on your own without me watching over you. Good girl. Stop calling you that? Why? It sure seems to me that you like when I say it to you. In fact, I don't just think that you like it. I think you love it. Come on, don't be shy. Am I right? Do you like it when I call you my good girl? Well, that blush on your face says something different. Now go and do as you're told. Or do I have to be a little more forceful? I thought so. And wash your hands before I come in. And wash them properly using soap. Not just water. Okay. Now that you've washed your hands and put the stuff on the counter, we can finally get started. Okay. So, let's start with the toast. You know, I really can't believe that you don't know how to make toast. Were you just messing with me before? Or do you actually not know how a toaster works? Oh, you were just messing with me? Well, that's something, at least. I was honestly worried that I was living with an idiot. No, I wasn't worried about you. I was worried you were going to set the house on fire while trying to make a sandwich. So you can make toast. Good. How about other stuff? So the rest of the stuff was real. Okay. Then I'm still going to teach you how to cook. So let's choose what we want to eat tonight. Lasagna? Mm, yeah, we can do that. And it's actually pretty simple, all things considered. So yeah. We can make that. Okay, grab the pasta sheets, that sauce, and that. Yes, the mince. And bring it over here to the pan and put it in. That's it, good girl. Okay, now that that's done now, grab that onion. Yeah. I like to have a little onion in my lasagna. It makes the meat tastier. Stop asking questions and do what I say. Okay, cut off that section. Yeah, like, no, stop. Okay, you almost just cut off your damn finger. Okay, stand here like this, and I'll move it behind you and look over your shoulder. I can feel your blushing getting so much worse. Yes, I'm tall enough to look over your shoulder. Well, to be fair, it's a combination of me being tall and you being short. 
I am also tall enough to reach around you and place my hands on the back of yours. Like this. Okay now. Just follow where my hands are leading you. Okay. And cut slowly so I can see any issues. Such as the fact that your finger is still under the knife. Move it away. That's right. Now slowly begin to cut it up. That's it. See? It really isn't that hard. Just keep going, and then turn it around like so. And do it again that way. Very good. Now that you've done that, and the meat is all cooked through, just tip it in for the last stretch. Perfect. Now we can just wait until it's done, and then start building the lasagna. Yes, this does take a while, but that's not an excuse for not learning how to do it. This is something that is very important to learn. And as I mentioned earlier, I will not be the only person that cooks in this apartment. Alright, next part is to pour the sauce in and let it simmer for a few minutes. I don't know if this is how other people do it. It's how my family makes it. And it's not going to be how you make it as well. Because it's the only way I'm going to teach you. Okay. So now that it's simmered, turn the dial to zero. Good. Now take the handle and just move the pan over here. Take the ladle and dish some of it into that cooking tray. No, no, not that. That's a spatula. No, that's a potato masher. Okay, stop. Stop. It's that one there. Okay, now start dishing it out. That's good. Now make sure it's mostly flat. Then take a pasta sheet and place it on top. Good. Now repeat that a few more times and we're nearly done. Yes, you're a very good girl. I see someone starting to like doing as they're told. Oh, because every time I give you an instruction... Your eyes practically light up. Or maybe it's because I'm so close to you while I'm giving them. <laughs> and you're done. Just put some cheese on top and into the oven to finish. Hey! <sighs> yes, I did just grab your wrist and yank your hands back from the dish. Come on, cutie. Think about it. What did you just nearly do? That's right. You nearly just grabbed a hot cooking tray with no gloves. Put some on and try that again. Good girl. And that's the lasagna done. See? It was easy, right? Now we can dish it out and eat some nice food tonight instead of whatever you were going to have. Are you really still blushing? I mean, yeah, I figured out that you think I'm hot and all, but really? You're having this much trouble just looking me in the eye? Hmm. How about while that finishes cooling? You and me can play a little game. Oh, don't worry about it. You'll love it. And that's a guarantee. Great. Come on, then. Sit on the sofa. Good, good. Now the game is simple. I'm going to try and fluster you so hard that I reset your brain and make you somewhat able to function around me. I've got no idea if it's going to work, 
but you're very cute when you blush. And I want to see it so much more. Good girl. Then let's begin. <laughs> I knew you would like this. All submissive little cuties do. Oh, I have had lots of submissive cuties under my sway before I put you under it. You don't believe me? Well, I can prove it to you sometime by inviting my sister over. That's right. Your big, tough Dom roommate has a weak, submissive sister. Where do you think I learned and perfected all of my techniques? Exactly. Now that's enough talking. I want to see you blush even more than this. Uh-uh. Stay still and keep those arms down. Good girl. Mm-hmm. You're going so red. It looks painful. Do my lips on your neck feel good? Or is it my strong hands running up and down your thighs? Should I go higher? Does my good girl want that? I win. Oh, you went so red. <laughs> I thought you were going to pass out. No, I won't be doing anything more. I can see how excited you are. But that is not my problem. You have to sort it out later. Now get up and go dish out the food. I'm starving. Good girl. 